In this video, I'll teach you how to resolve a corrupted enterprise project in either Project Online or Project Server. Nobody wants to deal with corrupted enterprise projects, do they? In this video, I'll teach you how to repair and resolve a corrupted enterprise project. So let's get started. If you have a corrupted enterprise project and you want to resolve the corruption, the first thing you'll need to do is to add the Save for Sharing button to your little Quick Access Toolbar. To do this, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button at the right end of the toolbar, and on the menu, choose More Commands. In the Project Options dialog, click the Choose Commands From Pick List button, Choose All Commands. Then scroll down to the S section and locate the command Save for Sharing. On the right, select the button below which you want to add Save for Sharing, and then click the Add button in the middle. Finally, click the OK button. And there it is. There's the Save for Sharing button ready for use. Next, go ahead and open the Corrupted Enterprise Project. In my case, it's the Project Acquire Helping Hand Corporation Project. This project has been misbehaving badly, and I strongly suspect that it is corrupted check out the project. Then click the Save for Sharing button. Microsoft Project will display a Save As dialog. Select the location where you want to save the MPP file that will be generated. I'm going to save it on my computer desktop. So I'll click the Save button. Then go ahead and close the project that you just saved. Next, go ahead and open the MPP file that you just saved. So let's go to the desktop and let's go see if we can find it. Acquire Helping Hand Acceptance Corporation. I'll open the MPP file and then do this. File save as, and then in the Project Web App section of the Backstage, click the Save button. Microsoft Project will display the Save to Project Web App dialog, but I want you to notice the name of this project is grayed out. This is because Microsoft Project knows that this is a Save for Sharing special project. The moment I click Save, Microsoft Project and Project Online or Project Server will resolve the corruption in this project. Go ahead and let the save job complete. You can see this down at the bottom in the lower right corner of the taskbar. Then, when the save job is completed, be sure and click File. Info, Publish, to save and publish the latest changes to the enterprise project that was once corrupted and now has the corruption resolved. Before you check in the project, make sure you wait for the Publish Completed Successfully message to appear in the lower right corner of your Microsoft project application window. So at this point, I could now close and check in the Enterprise Project, knowing it was once corrupted, but the corruption has been resolved using the Save for Sharing feature in Microsoft Project. Woo! That's a relief! Now you know how to successfully resolve and repair a corrupted Enterprise Project in either Project Online or Project Server.
If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification button as well. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And if you do have questions about either Project Online or Project Server, please write your questions in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.